Hi, my name is Andrew, and today I'm going to be talking about FASTQ files derived from color space sequencing. In this RDM byte, you will learn how color space FASTQ files differ from the now standard base space FASTQ files. This focuses on a different way of storing raw sequence data, and we'll finish with an example of how you might convert color space FASTQ files into base space. FASTQ files are the standard text based format for high throughput sequencing data of which the basic unit is a sequencing read. Data for each read is split across four lines, a unique sequence identifier rich in metadata, the raw sequence of A's, T's, C's, and G's, an underused descriptor line, and an ASCII encoded FRED quality score. Presenting raw sequencing data as individual bases is known as base space. Color space FASTQ files follow the same general format, but differ in the way the raw sequence is presented. Each raw sequence starts with a base, but is then followed by a series of single digit integer values for the remaining length of the read. Color space files were primarily generated by the ABI solid sequencing platform and are not routinely used anymore following the subsequent dominance of Illumina sequences. However, solid data still represent a rich resource in public sequencing archives, as long as the data are well understood. Solid data typically follows the older FRED64 quality scoring system. Color space sequences are generated by reading bases in overlapping pairs using die base labeled probes. If a base is repeated, such as an A followed by an A, these are detected by blue fluorescing probes. If the second base is the reverse complement of the first, these are detected by red fluorescing probes. If both bases are purines, or both the pyrimidines, these are detected by yellow fluorescing probes. Finally, if base pairs represent non-complementary transversions, these are detected by green fluorescing probes. These four color categories are then numbered and used to represent sequences in color space. It's important to note that all sequencing data uses color space, even Illumina, but the difference is most approaches consider bases individually, not in overlapping pairs. With the limitations in the technology at the time, the solid approach provided greater confidence in sequencing accuracy. With the base space read, a single polymorphism could be real or could represent a sequencing artifact. At a per read level, there's no easy way of telling the difference if the FRED score is acceptable. With color space, a genuine SNP results in two color space values changing, the SNP and the following base. If a sequencing error were included, only a single value would change relative to the reference, and all following converted sequence would not match the reference. This was theoretically a very important advance, but was limited by general high rates of sequencing errors, which affected color space more systemically than base space, and the rapid improvements in sequencing by synthesis approaches such as Illumina, which quickly reduced error rates. An issue with using outdated data like color space is that many of the analysis tools are no longer maintained. If you can accept the risk of sequencing errors causing systemic changes, you can easily convert color space FASTQ files into base space. Here, in a worked Python example, you create a dictionary of all the possible base number pairings and what base that would correspond to. Create an output file and set a line counter for within each read. Open your FASTQ file and iterate through each line. For the color space values in each read, capture the starting base and then loop through the sequence using the dictionary of possible context pairs and write to file. All other FASTQ lines can be left unchanged. Continue the loop by incrementing the counter and eventually closing your output file. That concludes our look at color space FASTQ files generated by solid sequencing. Whilst these data are now old, they can still be useful for exploring scientific questions without generating expensive new data. Take a look at the links associated with this video for more information and more RDM bytes in this area.